A common concern with vehicles as they age is dependability. Not only that they may not get you to work one day, but also that a catastrophic failure could cost thousands of dollars. And engine problems are among the greatest mechanical nightmares for their inconvenience, expense, and time to repair. As per Consumer Reports, there are more than a dozen older models with problems serious enough to require engine rebuilds. To help warn both current owners and used car shoppers, we compiled a list of 10 models from the past decade that stood out as having the most severe problems. Before we begin, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Now, let's go from bad to worse. Number 10, 2015 Volvo XC60. Volvo updated the powertrain lineup on its popular XC60 crossover in 2015. That includes the firm's new Drive E engine family, the naturally aspirated 3.2-liter and turbocharged 3.0-liter inline sixes continue to power all-wheel drive models, but the new, forced-induced four-cylinder engines power the front drivetrain models. 2015, also the model year, the Volvo XC60 owners reported various engine-related issues. The compact crossover reportedly had engine issues like coolant leaking into the transmission. However, the unreliable engine with fuel pump failure being its most notorious issue. The average mileage of the 2010 XC60s that encountered engine issues was about 60,000 to 86,000 miles. One owner was more surprised by their car's fuel pump suddenly failing than anything else. According to them, their car gave no indications of the problem whatsoever, and it simply broke down one day while they were driving down the road. Consumer reports provided poor reliability rating primarily due to major engine issues reported by vast number of drivers. Number 9. 2013 BMW X3 The 2013 model year brought a change for the X3's base engine. The previous 3.0-liter inline 6-cylinder was replaced by a 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder. Horsepower remained the same at 240, and the performance was impressive. But in the long-standing tradition of British-made automobiles, along with the joy, came some pain. The new engine's driving performance overshadowed by its poor reliability. According to CR, there are many serious engine issues buyers should be aware of, such as cylinder head, timing belt failure, and engine rebuild or replacement. On average, reports stated that the engine failed when the car reached between 83,000 and 93,000 miles. Repairs on average cost around $6,500 and required the engine to be rebuilt or replaced. Consumer reports gave a lowest reliability score for the 2013 X3 due to major engine problems. The BMW X3, even as a used vehicle, is costly when you add that to the fact that you may not have it long before you have to pay several thousand dollars for an expensive repair. Number 8. 2015 Ford Mustang Ford's EcoBoost family of small but mighty turbocharged engines has allowed the automaker to make lofty fuel-efficient claims. The 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine made its debut in 2015 in the popular Ford Mustang and the Lincoln MKC. It's an inline-four engine utilizing a single twin-scroll turbocharger which shows impressive performance for a small engine. Three problem areas stood out on this engine. It runs hot, head gasket issues, and carbon buildup. With some models, problems occurred with surprising frequency at a certain age and mileage. Ford Motor acknowledged that the temperature being created by the exhaust system of the 2015 EcoBoost Mustang are much higher than expected, and the automaker issued a recall. Consumer Reports shows poor reliability ranking and owner satisfaction. Number 7. 2011-2012 GMC Terrain and Chevrolet Equinox The first-generation GMC Terrain and the second-generation Chevrolet Equinox both had the same two engine choices. A 2.4-liter direct-injected inline-4 and a 3-liter direct-injected V6 engine and both have seen their fair share of complaints. Cylinder head malfunction, timing belt and engine rebuild or replacement were the top complaints owners reported on CR surveys, specifically the 2011 and the 2012 model. Engine failure can be caused by many things, says Consumer Reports' chief mechanic. Some engine rebuilds are needed due to low compression from worn piston rings, resulting in lack of power, misfiring or excessive oil consumption. 
while others suffer from crankshaft or connecting rod bearing failure, signaled by a knocking sound. Because of the difficulty and the time required to rebuild an engine, repair shops will often replace the original engine with another one that has been remanufactured, which can cost the owners a lot. GMC Terrain and the Equinox owners experienced the same issue after 86,000 miles on the odometer. Both SUVs got lowest reliability rating from Consumer Reports. Number 6. 2011 Audi A4 Lots of Audi and Volkswagen models wear a 2.0T badge on their trunk. It refers to a powerful 2-liter turbocharged and direct-injected gasoline engine, one that can present a cluster headache for owners. Between the high-pressure fuel pump failures, short-lived ignition coils, and the chronic carbon buildup, the cost of German parts and repairs can shock and awe. Audi and parent company Volkswagen had to settle a class action lawsuit with owners of 2.0T powered models that consumed motor oil at voracious rates. The lawsuit alleges 126,000 Audis have defects in their turbocharged engines that cause the vehicles to guzzle oil. The affected vehicles, including 2009 through 2011 Audi A4 with the engine code CAEB. An anonymous owner from Texas reported, the car started going through one quart of oil every 400 miles about a year ago and is still burning at that rate. As per CR data, the issue commonly appearing at around 42,000 to 77,000 mile range. Number 5. 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe It can be a good idea to save with a used Hyundai Santa Fe model. However, it's essential to pick the right Hyundai Santa Fe year to avoid problems and downtime. In 2020, Hyundai Motor America has reached an agreement with the NHTSA to pay a cash penalty of $54 million and other fines that could add up to $140 million. It was following an investigation into the way it conducted a recall, problem involving the automaker's 2.0-liter and 2.4-liter Theta 2 engines in the 2013 and 2014 Santa Fe Sport, in which metal debris created during machining operations at the factory led to premature bearing wear and potential engine failures. Apart from the recall issue, one of the top concerns owners reported were engine stalling or failing to start due to a failed crankshaft position sensor on 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe models. As per CR data, on average engines started to show trouble between 74,000 and 100,000 miles range. Before we move on to the next vehicle, appreciate if you can hit the like button and help YouTube to push this video to many other viewers like you. Number 4 2012 Subaru Forester Subaru owners are a fiercely loyal bunch, but it's hard to stay devoted to a product that may self-destruct and require an engine replacement costing over $8,000. The compact SUV has two engine options, a 170 horsepower naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four-cylinder and a 224 horsepower turbocharged 2.5 liter four-cylinder. Some Subaru Forester owners chronicled their problems with oil consumption, one owner mentioned, the engine began using oil even though no oil leaks were found. We had to add oil almost every time we drove it. The dealership did a short block replacement under warranty. Having such a major repair done without charge is a relief, but even better is avoiding such problems by buying a vehicle with a rock-solid reputation for reliability. Another popular issue the 2012 Forester owners had was the check engine light due to low catalytic converter efficiency. This same issue may cause the car to fail the state emission test. The 2012 Subaru Forester is the number four most likely vehicle to need an engine rebuild according to consumer reports. And the typical mileage for this to happen is between 81,000 and 129,000 miles. Number three, 2011 Hyundai Sonata. After undergoing a thorough redesign, the 2011 Hyundai Sonata was supposed to be a top contender in its segment, and while many may have scooped up this sedan, the odds are that they aren't thrilled with their purchase, because the 2011 Hyundai Sonata is stock full of problems. From multiple recalls to a long list of owner complaints, this is a kind of sedan that should be avoided at all costs. The model year has been recalled by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration several times including for the problem involving the automaker's 2.0-liter and 2.4-liter Theta 2 engines for potential engine failure. According to the NHTSA, another recall took place in 2018 concerning a fuel leak that could increase the risk of fire. CR provided 1 out of 5 reliability rating for the 2011 Sonata, citing major engine and other trouble spots. 
On average, the engine problems occurred when the odometer passed 72,000 miles. Number 2. 2013 Kia Sorento When you buy a new vehicle, you assume it won't have any catastrophic problems. Some owners of the second-generation Kia Sorento from model years 2011 through 2015 ran into just that when their SUVs developed serious engine problems. Of those five years, though, the 2013 model was the worst. Specifically, the models with direct injection 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine was the problematic one. Even the car maker acknowledged the issue. Kia Motor Company recalled certain 2012 to 2014 Sorento for machining errors during the engine manufacturing process. May cause premature bearing wear within the engine. Bearing wear may result in the engine seizing and increasing the risk of a crash. One South Carolina owner reported, Engine seized away from home. Oil burnt up. Kia picked up all towing and repair. Part of their many recalls, I suppose. But that doesn't mean all problematic Kia Sorento SUVs are recalled and fixed. So beware when you buy from used car market. As per CR members, engine problems mostly occur from 69,000 miles. CR has given lowest reliability rating due to engine, suspension, and other trouble spots. Number 1. 2014 Kia Optima Handsome styling, respectable fuel efficiency, and an affordable price all make the Kia Optima an appealing choice for a used car buyer. But before you start shopping for one, you should know about the model year that's the most complained about of them all. Over one-third of the problems were engine-related, and many of those involved a blown engine. Many owners reported engine knocking and loss of power while they were driving. Almost half of these owners replaced their Optima's engines. Several owners sent in frightening accounts of the engine stalling or losing power while driving on busy highways and city streets. Others told of the engine catching on fire and causing damage to the car's front end and tires. NHTSA reported 8 crashes, 44 fires, and 13 injuries that resulted from blown 2013 Optima engines. In March 2020, NHTSA issued a recall for the problem. The organization had already opened a defect investigation related to engine problems for the Kia Optima, Sorento, and Sportage for model years 2011 through 2014 back in 2017. Consumer reports given 1 out of 5 for engine reliability on the 2014 Kia Optima and indicate this is the number one model year likely to need an engine rebuild or replacement. Hope you like this video. If you haven't done so far, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more informative automobile videos. Thank you for watching.